So Gary Offit, uh, massive news coming out of the club today. Uh, he'll be leaving Worthing to take an opportunity at York City, a phenomenal uh, opportunity for yourself and, and Hinch and Cam. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> it's been an absolute whirlwind, to be honest with you. Um, it's happened very quickly. Obviously, York are in a certain position within the league that they need to, to strike now. Um, so, to be honest with you, I haven't had too much time to digest it, which, in a way, leaving a young family, that it's actually probably a better way where you can sort of think, right, I can go there, head down and get to work. And, you know, they've got eight, nine weeks left of the season, which are going to be huge weeks for them. Um, so I'll be honest with you, I felt every single emotion, young family at home, obviously this club's been special to me uh, from my first period and even, I know it's been a full season, um, but um, always hold a special place in my heart and I thank everyone, you know, fans, uh, the board, the media team, everything. It's just been an absolute uh, whirlwind of emotions and yeah, it's, um, it's gutting to stop it at this stage of the season because you do wonder, you, you think about what if, but when you speak to a club like York City, and this is definitely no disrespect to Urban because one day they will be there, I'm sure of that. The infrastructure, uh, the, the offer of the deal uh, to keep working with Inch and Cam, it's, um, it's a huge opportunity and it's one that if I got to sort of 90 years old and I sat down and think, why didn't I take that opportunity? I'd always be kicking myself. So yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them you just gotta go for it in life sometimes. Mentioned then that Jeremy, you've been on the word it's been a, a long association with the club. Uh, yeah. Originally meant to be a player. Uh, yeah. The manager in that yeah. first spell. Special times though, the promotion and everything like that. How has it been for you this this entire journey? That really? Crazy. You're like twenty nine year old, given the the manager job because he uh, originally left and. Like, to be fair, that's one thing, thankfully, that's always happened is uh, there's always been successes for it. Like, you know, unfortunately, there was that, that dodgy year where we had to play six games away and you look back on it at 29, 30 years, I was raising a young family, I was I was green, you know, and I, I had to step back because the pressures of that was getting to me, you know, even after six games. So, but one thing I did do, I, you learn from it, when again at Aston's obviously had the success with them, but for me Worthen will always be that club that saw something in me to say yeah you know what he's a leader of men or can help galvanise the, the dressing room um, and I'll always forever be grateful for that I've, um, I've met some special human beings in that, in that dressing room as well again which is always a constant thing in me you know if you're working with good people you've got a great chance in life and uh, yeah that's that's my motto in life really to, t to take forward you know surround yourself with good people and, and hopefully you'll always get there and uh, if for anyone who's coming in your place afterwards and joining this coaching team at Worthing, what would you say to them? Oh, they're coming. They're coming to a, a group of lads that are, are, are brilliant. You know, they're they're oh, oh, honestly easy for me to say. Uh, honest, hard working, um, great bunch of characters in there, and at great ages, most of them. Because to be honest with you, there's not many players in that dressing room that are between sort of 26 and 30, which is like your prime ages. They're either younger or slightly older. So I just think whoever steps in now has got a fantastic opportunity uh, to, to progress with the club, which they're doing. You look at the infrastructure at Worthing now um, and the timing couldn't be better for anyone walking in this building. Does it feel good to be leaving it in the position that you guys are stepping away from it? Yeah, 100%. You know, I've, I've left once when it probably wasn't uh, that great and uh, it, it used to eat me up slightly. Um, but to sort of help slightly over six months, um, people say we still can see too many goals, but uh, to have that help and to, to get to second in the conference itself at one stage of the season is a, a phenomenal achievement for this, for this club, I feel, and it shouldn't be overlooked.